Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Investor Financing Podcast Special Edition. We're doing questions and answers and we've got Bill helping with some of the questions we have and we're going to get started with question number one. And don't forget to go to InvestorFinancingPodcast.com forward slash ask. All right, Bill, fire away. All right. This one comes from William. He says, I am buying a franchise. It is a QSR or quick service restaurant. It does not appear to be on the approved SBA financing list. Any other options that you can let me know about? The total cost between the franchise fee, equipment and tenant improvements is about $300,000. My credit score is good, 730 plus. I have a W-2 job, which I will keep for the next several years. I have about 100,000 liquid and 100,000 in a 401k. Thanks in advance. Okay, great. That's a good question. So. Let me try to break this down. I have the note in front of me too, so I can look as a reference. But first off, uh, if it's not on the SBA approved directory, that's okay. Uh, We have financing programs. A lot of the equipment financing companies we work with, uh, they work with franchises. So they can not only do the equipment, they can do a lot of the tenant improvements in an equipment finance deal. So when it's not on the approved SBA register, Yes, you can potentially get it approved, but it's it's a process. So the fast way of doing this is to use equipment financing. And a lot of times these are already pre-approved with a lot of the equipment lenders we work with where they've financed these type of franchises in the past. And it's a, it's a quicker process to get the vendor approved or the franchise or. So that's one way. The other thing is you have a hundred grand liquid. You could look at doing a ROBS rollover. That's where you roll over into a self-directed vehicle, and then you can use that money for the purposes of investing in your business. Uh, the other thing is your credit is good and your W-2, you can also do an unsecured term loan potentially. We work with a company that goes out and they they do a soft pull on your credit, they run your DTIs, and th- they can get you anywhere from 25 to up to 450,000 depending on your credit profile. So you can use that for the franchise fee. There's a lot of ways we can layer and stack these uh, franchise acquisitions, even if they're not approved by SBA. SBA is a great tool, but sometimes we're, we're going to have to use it as a refinance down the road as opposed to use it now to acquire your franchise. So anyways, hope that one helps. You can always book a call. We have links below and we can walk you through uh, franchise financing. 